yeah, welcome back to Afternoon Live in my favorite place in the studio. We're here to show you how to make a bourbon apple cobbler. I know. We welcome back Chef Jacob Madosik is here. What's up, Jake? Not much. How you been? It's good to see you. I I'm like good. that we're both in our summertime. You know, we're ready for it, aren't we? I really like this pink. Oh, thank you. See, I was going to compliment your dress because, uh, you know, I, see, at least you could pull pink off, too. I couldn't pull that off. <laughs> no, well, thank you very oh, yeah. much. Um, congrats, by the way, pretty soon. You Any should day. be having another addition to the family. Another girl. I I'm knew way you were going to pay for a reason. I'm way outnumbered. Well, yeah, talk you know? to my husband about that. Oh, Three yeah. girls, and he's still trying to figure out what That's happened. That's right. That's right, Noah. We've been just outside a lot, you know, cooking on the grill, which is the nice part about this recipe is today you can do it on your grill, really? in your oven. And you know me, I love cast iron. So I as know. long as you can cook it in cast iron and keep it all in one pan, you are perfect I to gotta go. I got to tell you, because of you, I bought cast iron skillets. Good. Have you cured them yet? Um, no. Let me know. I'll help you out with it. Okay, that. thank you very right, much. So today, <laughs> this is a four-step recipe. Unless you want to add five and we take a shot, that's always a thing you oh, can do. Oh, that's always, that's, that's never right. a problem. Okay. So the best part is there's bourbon in this. There's mm -hmm. apples. It's nice and fresh. You can substitute peaches, too, if you want. Oh, yeah, okay. The only problem I found is last night I went to get an orange, one orange for mm -hmm. this recipe, and there were no oranges to be found at the store. There's a shortage. Are you so kidding me? We can substitute citrus. We have lemons. Wow, I had i would never heard of an orange shortage. I have not either, but apparently it's on up upon us, okay. so here we go. So we have eight apples sliced. Now I like to mix them, so we have Granny Green Smith, okay, and we have some Fujis. So the tartness, the sourness from the mm -hmm. Grannies, and then we got you know the Fujis for a little more. They're not too mushy, like a yellow apple, mm -hmm. uh, peeled, diced real thin, like I like. We've melted our half stick of butter down, mm -hmm. and we are going to mix all this in. We have a quarter cup of sugar. Okay. Okay. So you start. Okay. You can pour that shot in there if you don't mind for me. That is. That has to go in there. It is easy to measure sure? because you have a shot. It's all we want. The all whole of it. thing. The whole I can't, thing. Okay. The whole thing. Just wanted to make sure, yep. you know. Oh, we can. We have a whole bottle over there. <laughs> so then, you know, we do the whole zest of this lemon, and you're going to pour in that last part for me. We have two tablespoons of cornstarch. Mm -hmm. We have a teaspoon of nutmeg mm -hmm. and two teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay. So we will pour that in there while I'm doing this. While you're doing it, okay. Yep. All right. Try and get in there. Oh, you're doing good. Okay. We got this. All right, so that's there. Ooh, You're gonna mix that, that for me there. I'm gonna squeeze sure. behind you. Can I use this? Yes, you can. Okay. Now the best part, you'll you'll mix this, and you'd usually let this sit about 10 minutes. You want everything to come together. Oh. Okay, like we that's always. That's not do. too long. Nope. And as do we're doing that, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna mix our dumplings, which is what we're gonna put on top. We're gonna do the biscuit method. Oh. So I've already sifted a cup and a half of flour. All right. Uh, two tablespoons of baking powder, and then we're gonna add a stick and a half of butter. Ooh. Because, you know, butter makes everything better. Now, that's the unsalted or salt? Unsalted always, because we also have a teaspoon of salt in here. Always oh, add salt right. to your baked goods. And we have another half cup of sugar. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So we're going to let this go. Okay. And that's perfect. There, you got that mixed perfectly for me. Thank you. Hey, this smells amazing. That's what we should. That's oh, what we Oh, my want. goodness. I could wear it. Now, as you're mixing this, you want really cold butter. This oh. is going to start turning into sand. You see how it's starting to form together? Uh huh. Okay, you just keep doing that, push down the sides as needed. We'll let that go for a minute. For a minute, okay. Now our Let's pan is back. nice and good. Yes, I and see that. We... It's starting to smoke. That's right. What did you What did you put in there? Just a half stick of butter. Oh, okay. We have a half stick of butter. All this would go right in here. Wow. And you just let this cook down. Now, like you know me, I like to make everything as easy and quick as possible. Yes. So that's it. Seven minutes. That's not it. That's Come it. on. Seven minutes. This has gone down. You see how we have a nice dough? We are going to now add three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. Oh my gosh. This I didn't say this so was delicious. healthy for you. No, I just said it's, it's delicious. so far from it, but that's it looks right. like it's going to be so delicious. I think you might need a little bit of this while I'm doing this. <laughs> Wait, is that for the recipe or for me? That's for you. That's for you. <laughs> I can't take a so, full-on shot. I'll be sick. Well, you, I, you know, you were asking. And I you, know. You know, if you ask, you get it. All right, let me smell it. Woo-wee. Is that good? Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. And that's it. And that's so it. Our dough has came together. Okay. So our dumpling dough is good. It's nice, creamy, and smooth. Mm-hmm. These have cooked magically for seven minutes. Okay, so that's about okay. how long we've been yeah. having it in there. On we high heat, that. low heat, what oh, is it? about medium. You want medium. medium. Okay. So we'd stir this, you know, seven minutes, get this together. It looks so high. How do you put anything on top of that? Oh, well, that's the joy of this. Okay. All you have to do with this is this. You do not need to spread this. Really? I will show you the, what is going to happen from the magic of the oven and the magic of the biscuit method that we just did. Okay. Okay, so you drop this on here. You don't need to get it close. Okay, you can just dollop them as you go. 
because the baking powder uh -huh. and the butter will cause a leavening agent that makes it melt and Evenly. spread across. Wow. The last step for this, as you know, we said the four before, we put it in a 375 degree oven. Make uh -huh. sure you get that right temp. You gotta brush a little bit of cream on here. Just on the biscuit part. Just on the biscuit part. It can fall in there and it can keep cooking. Don't worry if those biscuits start cooking on this pan because uh -huh. that's, you know, you're okay. But that's gonna make it get a little more golden. It's gonna get, also give it a lot more flavor. And if you really want a little more sweetness, you can dust some sugar on top too. Oh I goodness. think we're doing okay. Even more sugar, yeah, I, think I think we're good. I think we're, we're good. Okay. So you take this. Uh-huh. And you just place it in a 375 degree oven. Uh-huh. And as I said, the magic happens. Oh wow. It spreads out. Look at that. And becomes How perfect. long was it in there? How long did you 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Like All I right. said, you can also do it on the grill. As long as it's a covered box at 375 and the perfect temperature, it'll do the same thing on your grill. What? Look yeah. at that. So that's not evenly spread. That's how that biscuit top. That biscuit, yeah, that just it just it just falls down for you. Oh my goodness. And becomes great. Now, how did you come up with this recipe? Um, part of my mama. My mama gets mad at me a lot. I'm going to tell you this why. <laughs> because I take her recipes. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then I improve them. Oh, you didn't say that. I do. Oh, you're going to get in and trouble. And she gets so mad because she said, why uh -huh. fix perfection? Oh. Yeah, well, come on now. And I said, well, you know, you're sometimes... You're trying to make mama mad? Sometimes you just got to fix it. Well, you got You better get that figured out before you have well, all these girls in your house. Well, that's, you're that's, outnumbered, yeah, okay? Remember I'm, that. I'm trying to learn quicker. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a little dollop of this. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, please. I'm going to take and one. And thank you. Oh, of course. <laughs> I'm going to take a little. i got a mess your plate. I oh always gosh, have a messy plate. Oh, my gosh, it smells plate. so good. Look, that's not coming off. Good. Let me No, it's fine. We can use our I don't need as much here. ice cream. I like. Go. There we go. All that's right. what I could do for you. So let's take I'll a bite. I'll get you the fork. So that it's oh cooled a little bit for us already. So Thank don't worry. You. I'm not burning your mouth today. Okay. Oh, man. Okay.